Hello everybody, it's Evaluate Level 4 for the weekly update. Um, start off things just to, I guess, avoid a tonal whiplash with the rest of the, the usual update. Um, this, uh, this past Friday, Thursday night, uh, I lost a very close friend, uh, Brian Frazier, or Icabagon. Um, I made a video uh, on the channel here just discussing my thoughts about him, you know, memories and things. Uh, I wanted to make that a separate video than the weekly update just so that there wouldn't be like a, a tonal whiplash of saying like sadness and then, no, yeah, we had a Nintendo D Pokemon Direct, you know, that kind of thing. So um, I just want to, I guess, co compartmentalize it a little bit. Uh, that video isn't monetized or anything. I'm just putting it there because it's easier for me to talk out my thoughts than it is to type out my thoughts. Uh, so uh, if you want to take a look, take a look, um, you know, I you know appreciate it. If you can't or don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Um, it's not an easy, it's not an easy subject. Uh, but uh, I did want to acknowledge it here, so it doesn't look like I was ignoring it. It's just processing things differently and I don't want it to um, I don't want things to leak into other things I guess uh, but yeah so uh, thank you to everybody who uh, did watch it uh, there's quite a lot of people actually um, and uh, everybody who you know left nice things or um, you know condolences or whatever to friends and family. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah. Without a good way to transition from that. Um, so this obviously was an interesting week. Uh, aside, aside from that, um, it was the, the Jewish holiday of Purim, uh, on Friday, which, uh, on, as its own, as its own thing went well. Um, there was a, a Sony State of Play, there was a Pokemon uh, presentation, and uh, it, uh, it was an interesting week. Um, as for videos and stuff this week, uh, videos should continue as normal. Um, <laughs> the video and art is really all that I've got, right? Like, you know, with myself, so like, stopping that would be, <coughs> excuse me, a worse thing personally, unless I felt that I couldn't do it, but, um, you know, I, I do the, the videos and stuff too already for, um, you know, mostly for personal something, so, um, you know, I'm just gonna continue doing it for, you know, to, for, myself and for others now, um, as it's been for the past bunch of years, you know, it's a lot of this, a lot of all of this has been, uh, in, in other people's names, so, just add more, more names to that, uh, but, um, yeah, so this week's stream should be Animal Crossing, um, or no, I said it was going to be Bug Fables. I would really like to continue Bug Fables. Um, and we'll have... Uh, we'll have uh, videos of Blossom Tales and... And... Uh, Trails in the Sky. So, look forward to that. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, as for, like, how I'm, like, feeling, uh, my back is kind of the same as it was. It's, um, you know, it's still hurting in areas that I'm trying to stretch. I talked about this last week, but, um, this past week is decent. I got stuff done. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, not much, not much to talk about there. Uh, let's see, this past week in other events... I like packing stuff up in the house now, and um, 
it's creating chaos everywhere. One, this room is probably going to slowly get packed up over the course of the next couple of weeks. It's going to be just really, it's going to be a mess here. <laughs> um, you know, we're we're going to need everything packed within like a month, so that's fun. Um, just trying to remember. I scroll through Twitter to remember things, because I have, I have memory problems. Uh, I have memory problems for the current time, I have memory problems for the past. I don't talk about it too much, but that's one of the, the fun um, side effects of, of many, many years of chemotherapy, is that I, I have severe memory loss from the past seven years. Um, which is why, like, you know, when I talk about things or people, I usually don't go into specifics because I don't remember specifics. And I hate it. But there's nothing I can do about it at this point. It's one of the reasons why I enjoy doing the weekly updates. Um, because I, I don't remember things. And, um, you know, every year when I do the year in review, I watch every single weekly update from that year. And just write down everything to remind myself like how things go and it's it's personally very good for me because I just I, I look at things and I'm like I don't remember saying this or like oh wow that's that happened this year anyway um, one of the patreon pieces I did for this week was um, Miroku from uh, Inuyasha as a tribute to uh, the voice actor uh, Curry Kirby Morrow, who passed away late last year. Um, so I, I like Inuyasha a lot. I have not watched it in a very long time. But um, I like the... Uh, I enjoyed the show. And um, so I... It was, it's nice. I think this is the second Inuyasha character I've drawn for Patreon. So that's cool. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, baked hamantashen for for Purim. There's little triangle cookie things that were very very good. Just cleaning up, cleaning up stream tweets. Um, the uh, the the stream from this past week, which is up on the channel, I didn't post on Twitter. Um, but the stream from the past week is um, was uh, first impressions on. Mario 3D World and also some Bowser's Fury gameplay. Uh, it was very fun. Uh, it was a, it was a good time. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Uh, my Makoto uh, and Futaba pieces from the Persona 5 uh, art thing both turned a year old this past week. So it's uh, crazy to see that. But I have the the Futaba one over here and the Makoto. I don't have it up, I don't think, but I have it on the poster. Um, but yeah, some, two of my favorite pieces. I love Makoto, she's great. Um, da 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 da, making cursed pictures for Lukajin. Um, saw a lot of good art by people this week, I was very, very happy to see. Uh, another thing... Another thing that I did uh, this week was um, I'm making like uh, every year I make Magfest uh, pictures. Um, I draw pictures for um, Emil, Tim, John, Masse, and Mamanella. Um, and uh, so even though Magfest didn't happen this year, I wanted to still try to do something just at a slower pace. So uh, I finally finished uh, Tim's picture, which is the the Luminary from um, Dragon Warrior. Him as the Luminary from Dragon Warrior 11. Um, not to be confused with the Luminary of the Stars, Kaito Momoda. But uh, I really like how this came out. There's just like a lot of detail in in everything. And I tried to you know incorporate his looks into it a little, into the art style. But uh, I really like how a lot of it came out. Uh, like for the shield, I used... Uh, Clip Studios design pencil for some of the like coloring and the the shininess and stuff. You can't really see, but the shield says "so happy" on it. But um, yeah, so I was really really proud of that picture. And um, I'm working on 
I'm working on everyone else's slowly as well. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. Twitter announced super follows, which is you just pay for exclusive tweets, which just looks like they're cutting the middleman out of making an OnlyFans. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right, so... Uh, the state of play, I was actually watching, watching in the car. <laughs> I was, I was, uh, in the car, not driving, I was a passenger, but the state of play, uh, I didn't really, like, watch it too much, I rewatched it after. Um, but it was, it was pretty solid for the most part. Um, there's an update for Crash 4, uh, for PS5. Uh, they talked about the games Returnal, Knockout City, Sifu, Solar Ash, uh, Five Nights of Freddy's Security Breach, Oddward Soulstorm, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, and Deathloop, and um, just showing more things for all those. Those are all games that were announced previously uh, at, like, E3 type things. Um, they looked all pretty fancy. And then they got to Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I was excited. I was hoping that they were going to do something. Um, they, uh, they're making up a free update. Uh, for current owners on the PS4 for PS5, you know, that's just fancier. Um, and also, uh, you know, just all the, everything is uh, upgraded, everything. And also a DLC story uh, for Yuffie um, called Intergrade, which I believe is probably just a combination of interlude and upgrade because it's the upgrade and it's a side story to the main story so it's an interlude upgrade intergrade um so it looks very exciting it has characters it has her it looks like it has characters from dirge of cerberus which i guess i'm gonna have to let's play now <laughs> um you know in order to get ready for that so um yeah Look forward to that Let's Play probably in April. <laughs> uh, spoilers. And um, the Yuffie thing comes out in like late June or early July or something like that. So, you know, we should be done in time. Uh, Dirge of Cerberus isn't a, a long game. Uh, they also announced two mobile games for Final Fantasy VII. One is called Final Fantasy VII First Soldier, which is a battle royale game that takes place before the events of FF7. So, I'm not touching that because I don't like Battle Royales, but if it has any story stuff, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> um, excuse me. And they announced another game called Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, but both of these things, the, the names were trademarked recently. Ever Crisis is also a mobile game, but it's going to be a single-player episodic, like, chapter-based thing going through the entire compilation of Final Fantasy VII story. So, like, that means... FF7, Crisis Core, uh, Dirge of Cerberus, and Advent Children, and uh, Before Crisis also, which is a mobile game that only came out in Japan that talks about that deals with the story of the Turks. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited for that. That's coming out next year. Um, but uh, you know, if uh, I don't know what the the pay model is going to be because you know it's a mobile game. They're not just going to have a free mobile game. Um, if it just has an upfront cost, that's perfectly fine with me. I just really hope that they don't nickel and dime uh, story access. But uh, we'll see. You know, based on the quality and stuff, we'll see how it goes. But um, by that time, I'm going to try to figure out how to emulate it onto my computer so I can record it. Um, so look forward to that. Because, I mean, if it's a, if it's a game that's good, and it goes through the entire Final Fantasy story, uh, Final Fantasy VII story, then of course I'm going to let's play it. <laughs> uh, especially if it's got, you know, the Before Crisis stuff, which, again, we just don't have access to now, because it was, it was a, a mobile phone, like, download game in Japan only. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm very excited for that. Um, they also had, uh, on Friday, the Pokemon... Uh, presents, which um, is very exciting too. Uh, they, you know, talked about Pokemon 25th anniversary. Uh, talked a little about Pokemon Snap, and they're like, "All right, y'all ready? We got we got things to tell you. First of all, boom, Diamond and Pearl remakes. 
um, which I'm very excited for because they're keeping the like the chibi character style that the sprites of the original game had. Like it looks interesting in in 3D now, but I was really worried that they were gonna go for like the um, ORS route of character design, which I wasn't that big of a fan of. Like the people, the bobbleheads. Um, this is more just like a chibi thing that looks like the original game, but you know, upgraded. So I'm very excited, and I hope that even though it's was it brilliant diamond and shining pearl or something like that, I really hope that despite being two games, they still incorporate um, platinum's you know aspects into it. Maybe not like the snow everywhere like platinum had, but um, you know the distortion world and that storyline. Um, because that was good, uh, and we'll have to see, because, uh, when Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out, they incorporated Crystal into the Heart Gold, uh, the, into the Gold and Silver stuff, they made, like, a, a mesh of both of them, like, it was, it was Gold and Silver, but you also, um, had, like, you know, Suicune walk, running around everywhere and stuff, so, um, I, I hope so. Uh, but they also announced, after that, a game called Pokemon Legends Arceus. They're calling it Arceus, even though I say Arceus. Potato, potato, you know. Um, and uh, that looks like it's going to be, I mean, from what they said, it's going to be a, um action RPG, like an open-world Pokemon game, which people have been asking for forever. It takes place in Sinnoh, but hundreds of years ago in, like, the feudal era of Japan type of thing. Uh, based on the clothing. The protagonists are literally just Dawn and Lucas, but in in feudal clothing, and I love it. It's hilarious, but I do love it. Um, and, uh, uh... <laughs> this is very funny. Um, but, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It, it looks okay. Uh, it's coming out next year. Um, the, uh, or no, it's coming out... Yeah, it's coming out next year. The the Diamond and Pearl stuff... Yeah, Pokemon Snap is coming out in April. Diamond and Pearl, I think they said it's coming out holiday time. And uh, they said that Pokemon Legends is coming out early 2022. So I hope in that time they refine it a little bit. You know, make it look a little fancier or something. You know, they're trying to go for, like, a uh, Breath of the Wild style, but um, we're looking at, like, a, an early thing, so I really hope that, that they polish it. Um, I'm calling it now that it's going to get delayed to at least the middle of 2022, because it is a... It's a AAA, you know, open-world RPG, which means that, like, part of the, 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 the mission statement is, like, open-world, you, know, uh, you know, bunch of things delay it at least once or twice, so it's going to get delayed, but we'll see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be exciting, and, uh, yeah, Game Freak is outsourcing the development to other studios, which means that it's not like the same people working on the things, it's, it's new, new blood with dedicated time so like they don't have to have like a year development cycle or two year development cycle it's could be working for a while excuse me thank you canto themed raid day today um and that's all right and other things i got um persona 5 strikers so that's exciting uh, I got the PS4 version because I have data on the PS4 for, uh, for data on the PS4 for Persona 5 Royal, and I just want to continue on. Also, I have Age of Calamity on the Switch, so if I wanted to have another, you know, Musou game on another, I would want it on another system, so I'm not just playing it all on the same thing. So I'm going to play this on the PS5. It's going to be good. Um... And also, uh, the Dorm, the Dawn Shard novella from Brand Sanderson from the, uh, Way of Kings 10th anniversary Kickstarter finally came in, so I read through this over the weekend. 
Uh, it was very good. Um, I, I like having physical copies of books. We got an ebook like months ago. I just couldn't read through it because I hate reading ebooks. Um, also got a um, Hyrule Warriors like acrylic board thing from the My Nintendo shop. So yay, this was out of stock for a little while, so I'm happy. Um, and also uh, the Strikers came with like a little Joker pin, so that's cool. It's not gonna focus. It's okay. This item is not a toy. It says on the back right here. It's not a toy. Um, yeah, and Dirt of Cerberus, because I want to play the worst Final Fantasy VII compilation game. Uh, that's about it. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, uh, just remember... Thank you, phone. Remember to be kind to each other. Um, you know... Well, as I, as I said at the end of the, the video about Brian, you know, we'll, we'll make it through this somehow. And, um, I appreciate everybody's, you know, just general support and, uh, you know, always a reminder, um, you know, <laughs> it should go without saying, but I'll say it anyway. I very much love and appreciate every single one of you, you know, all the things that you do, you make the world a better place by being in it. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate you. I really do. So thank you for being you. Thank you for sticking around and just trying your best through this hell of a life. And um, here's hoping for only good news in the future for all of us. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.